Hi kids. Thank you for joining us again this Sunday on the very first Sunday in August. I hope you are building some wonderful memories during this summer because it's going really fast, isn't it? Well, I'm glad you take time every Sunday to come and be with me because I really miss you. But I love worshiping with you, even if we have to do it in our own homes. This Sunday, we're gonna start some new lessons that's gonna talk to us about the fact that God created you and me and all people. That means he made us. We weren't an accident. We didn't just happen, but God made us. And we're gonna talk about how special that can make us feel and help us understand better why we are important to God. So we're gonna start with some singing. This singing is not only fun, but it also helps us tell Jesus how much we love him. So stand up, get your wheels out, put your smile on, and let's worship.
Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. And done. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Do you want to see my painting? You do? <laughs> okay. Get ready. Ta-da! <laughs> I painted a picture of me, myself. <laughs> See, my brown eyes and my brown hair. I'm just a beginner, but I think I did a pretty good job. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Ooh. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we've got everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about the maker of all people. Who do you think it is? Hmm? God, that's right. God made everyone, and He made us to be like Him. But no two people are the same. It's true. Some people are girls. Some people are boys. Some have red hair. Some have black or blonde or brown hair. God made us all in the most wonderful way. He created people with fingers and toes and ears and eyes. God created people with legs and arms and a mouth and teeth. God even gave us a brain to think. Incredible, right? God is amazing and He made us to be like Him. Now, speaking of our brains, God gave us very special brains. God made us to learn. It's true. There are so many things we can learn. Oh, we can learn how to talk and tie shoes and read books and ride a bike. There are new things to learn every day. In fact, we're learning about God right now. And God made us so creative. Who here loves to dance? Huh? Ha-ha, <laughs> good. Who here loves to sing? Woo! Great. And who loves to build towers with blocks? Awesome. That's because God made us creative, like Him. And do you know one of the best things we can do with our amazing, wonderful, creative selves? Help others. Yes, God made us to help. We can help others by painting get well cards, or helping clean up, or saying kind words. Huh, isn't that amazing? God made us to learn, to create, and to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! Oh, that was awesome. So exciting to hear about, huh? We're going to spend a few minutes now, boys and girls, talking about ourselves. Do you like to talk about yourself? Sometimes that's fun. But today, I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to answer them. I want you to answer them out loud. You can say it really loud, see if I can hear you. Or you can just say it in a normal voice, but I want you to answer, okay? So here's the questions. What color hair do you have? 
I heard brown and black, and I think I heard somebody say red in the back and, and blonde. Lots of different color hair, that's awesome. Well, is your hair straight or is it curly? Some of both. Some of you have curly hair, some of you have straight hair. Well, um, how about your eyes? What color are your eyes? Blue, brown, green. Well, I'm gonna tell you a secret about me, okay? If you were in the same room with me and you looked really close at my eyes, guess what you'd see? This one is light brown and this one is dark brown. God made me with two different colored eyes. Isn't that special? Well, are you kind of short or kind of tall? Yes, some of, it, some of each, some tall, some not so tall. Do you like to run really fast? Or do you not like to run at all? Some of each. Do you like to um, draw and color pictures? Or is that just boring to you? Boring to some, lots of fun for others. Okay, um, how about, do you like to take a ball and go out in the yard and, and play catch with it? Some of you do, some of you don't like to do that. Do you like to learn and sing new songs? Do you sing a lot as you go around your house? Or not? Some of you like to sing, and some of you don't care about singing so much. Well, what about when you see somebody that you know and you love a lot, do you like to give them a big hug or would you rather just wave at them? Some of you are huggers and some of you aren't. We don't get to hug a whole lot now, do we? Some of you like to hug and some of you would rather just wave. Well, let's see, do you like chicken better or hamburger better? Some of both. Okay. Well, if you had your choice, would you rather sit inside and read a book or look at a book? Or would you rather go out and play in the sunshine? Lots of sunshine players, a few readers. You know, what this tells us, if we were all in the same room and I asked you those questions, you would hear lots of different answers coming all at the same time. You know why that is? Because God not only made us, but he made every one of us special and different. None of us are just like anybody else. Maybe your friend has brown hair like yours, but maybe hers is straight and yours is curly. Or maybe your friend has blue eyes and you have brown eyes. God made every one of us different. He made the things that we like different. We're not the same. He did that because he loves each one of us individually and special. There's nobody else that can take our place. We are special individuals. And you know what? That should make our hearts very happy. It should make our hearts very happy. And on days when maybe you're not feeling so special, maybe one of your friends said something unkind to you and it made you feel like you weren't very important or special, I want you to remember that to God, you are special. There is nobody else in the whole world like you. And then you can thank him for that and know how special you are. We also have a new verse that's going to help us remember this. The address for this book is Psalm 139, 14. Remember we call it the address because that's where we can find it in the Bible. So in the Bible, it's found in Psalm chapter 139, verse 14. I'll say it for you and then we'll say it several times together, okay? Are you ready? I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Okay, you ready to say it with me? All right, you might wanna stand up, it'd probably be a little easier. Okay, here we go. I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Pretty good job. Let's try it again and maybe a little bit louder, okay? Here we go. I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time, and this time, we're gonna add one other thing. We're gonna put a smile on our face because this makes us happy, right? So let's put our smile on and here we go. I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. 
Great job. Boys and girls, it's time for us to say goodbye again. I thank you so much for being here and worshiping with me. I love being with you. And as you go, I want you to have a good week and I want you to remember that God made you special.